So welcome back to another tactical video and today we're looking at Wiesel Kobe. Let's go. Not in a draw game. Come on, bro. Okay, let's go. Iniesta. Golazo! <clears throat> so Wiesel Kobe is placed in the AFC Champions League right here. It's the Japanese team, but the Japanese league is not in the game. So you can play with them in the AFC Champions League. And this team is a two and a half star team. Uh, its strength is obviously the midfield, where you find Andres Iniesta. You also have Sergi Samper, another Spaniard. Uh, but their forwards, it's only rated 66. And the defense, it's only rated 66 as well. Uh, the midfield is rated 75. So this is, I would almost say this is probably more closer to a one and a half star team or a two star team than a two and a half star team. Okay, so this is the tactics I used. Uh, and it can look a little bit like a meta formation, especially in the midfield right there, but uh, it was not intentional to set it up like that. I think this is uh, just a pure coincidence. It's because of the players you have available, I think this is the setup that's uh, best to use, but uh, you're not going to play any specific meta with this formation. You're going to play some proper football. Let's take a look at the attacking instructions that I used right here. So we're going to do counter-attack, short pass up the middle with a flexible positioning, and we're going to have a two support range. And then for the defense, it's going to be all-out defense. So we're going to contain towards the middle, and we're going to have aggressive press. We're going to have a two defensive line and an eight compactness. And then for the advanced instructions, the only one I activated was swarm the box. So this is basically a custom tactic. It's built for online divisions. So the defense is going to be very conservative. Uh, you're not going to do any high pressing with this one. You have a two and a half star team. After all, most of the teams you're playing in online divisions are going to be higher rated. So you have to try to, to shore up the defense and, uh, and take advantage of your star players on this team. So... So the obvious star player here is Andres Iniesta. So he's going to be the, the playmaker in the offense. Everything should go through him as much as possible. Try to involve Iniesta in your build-ups. So Iniesta, classic number 10. He inspires low pass 2 stars and uh, lofted pass 2 stars. So he is your playmaker. And he has <laughs> extremely good passing stats. He can also dribble very nicely. So uh, this guy is going to be... Uh, f your focal point in the offense. I don't think Iniesta needs any more introduction right here. So the other two uh, or three key players is Sergi Samper uh, in the midfield right here. He's an anchor man. He inspires Lopez one star, and that's why I think it's important to also be be able to involve him in the build up because you can pass to him and he will create a little bit of uh, movement with his inspired trait. And he also has decent passing. Actually, he, he has 83 low pass and 80 uh, lofted pass. So that's pretty good, I would say, for a 72 rated defensive midfielder. And he also has double touch. He has one touch, weighted pass. And uh, he's a very good deep line playmaker. And then up top, you have another key player. And it's Douglas. He's a target guy. He is not the highest rated, in, obviously. He's only rated 72 right here. Left footed target guy. He can finish, he can head, he has okay speed. Uh, it's a little bit slow because of the acceleration being low. But uh, this guy can finish for you, so it's going to be all about getting him the ball inside the box to finish. Niesta Douglas. Woo! And then you have a couple of like supporting players right here. You have uh, Thomas Vermalen in the defense, who is rated 77. And uh, this guy is going to be vital for your, for your defense. Very important to, to be able to start this guy. Even though, I mean, I would even start this guy on bad condition. Because you don't have that many options. So this guy, you can, uh, you can use him in your build-ups as well. He has very good passing stats. So you can build up from the goalie, pass it up to Vermalen. And from there, up to Iniesta or to Samper. 
Another very good player is Yamaguchi. He's a destroyer defensive midfielder. Very solid defensive player right here. Uh, it's going to be a nice complement to, to your attacking-minded uh, midfielders. And uh, he is also very important to have in the defense right there, in, in the midfield, because you don't have that many options on the bench right there. I mean, the players you have that are rated above 70 is going to be important to try to keep on the pitch, even though they have bad condition, because the, the squad depth is very bad. And uh, worth noting is on the, right, uh, on the right wing position right there, you have Oda. He's only rated 65. But the good thing about this guy, he has decent speed and he has double touch. So he is quite useful if you're able to do double touches. But don't expect too much from him. You are primarily trying to play up the middle. Try to use the Spaniards. Try to use Samper, Iniesta and pass it up to Douglas. And Douglas is going to be the finisher. Golasso. So I played five games in online divisions using this uh, this setup, and it had some mixed results. But overall, I think it worked pretty well, uh, especially if you use Iniesta for what uh, for what he's worth and his strengths. You're able to you will be able to play some nice football, and he's actually so good that he he will give you some goals. He will give you some wins if you're able to shore up your defense. So it's definitely a team worth trying out. And uh, let's wrap this video up. So there you have it, Vissel Kobe tactics. What do you think? Have you been trying Vissel Kobe? Let us know your tactics and everything. I'm sure the community would love to hear. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Golasso Iniesta, bro. <laughs>